What's up guys, Dr. Ray here coming at you with another video and today we're going to talk about what are my thoughts, do I think this is the actual bottom of Bitcoin, the bottom of the crypto market, is it up only from here? We're going to look at some data, I'm going to tell you what I think. Before we get into it guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, I appreciate it, and let's hop into it. So guys, as always, as I've always said, this is an accumulation zone, the price has come down by a dramatic amount. If we go from top to bottom, you know, we're talking about an almost 60% retracement in the price of Bitcoin. And therefore, if you think that this is an asset that you want to hold long term, this is when you accumulate. All right. We don't know if this is the bottom. Personally, my thoughts are this is not the bottom. We have a big potential to go lower and I will tell you why in a minute. But ultimately, guys, this is an accumulation phase, an accumulation zone. Okay. The reason price went up like this is because everyone was FOMOing in. Retail FOMO was at the high high here. Okay, we saw mass institutional adoption coming in, but price came down because people took profit. Okay, and when the price goes down, it has a tendency to go further down, and we are in a macro bearish environment. Remember, guys, Bitcoin has only ever existed in an up only environment. Check the stock market, check the interest rates, check everything. This is the first time that we are heading into this sort of environment where Bitcoin has existed, when we are in a massively macro bearish, massive recession type environment. And because of those reasons, I think there is a tendency for us to go lower in price. I think it's a big chance that that could happen. Okay. So, and trust me guys, I've seen this before. Okay, when the price is going down and down and down, everybody wants to basically get bearish and bearish and bearish. And when you see this tiny pump like this, everyone thinks it's all over, but it's not. It's not over necessarily. Okay, look at previous times that Bitcoin has existed and you will see similarities in the charts. Okay, if we zoom out and we go and we take a look. At Bitcoin in 2018, right here. Okay, what do we see? Let's zoom in on the chart. So, wow, that's a 27% pump in the price. Was the bear market over? No, it was not over. Similarly, we saw a retracement in price down to there of 67%. And then what happened afterwards? Boom, another 47% drop in price. So, guys, there's no guarantee that the bearish times are over just because we see the price pump up again you know we saw this year 40 percent rally 50 percent rally 82 percent rally <laughs> we saw that multiple times multiple times and then finally boom dump okay so there's no guarantee that things are done yet there's no guarantee we have to use our brains and remember look ultimately the goal is not to cash the bottom the goal is to catch the bottom zone. And as long as you're paying attention, as long as you're following me here, watching these videos, follow me on Twitter, you'll catch the bottom zone. Okay. The biggest mistake someone can make is to simply just disappear from crypto and come back a year later or two years later, and then it's going to be too late. You're going to have missed the move, but you don't have to stress out trying to catch that bottom, even though I'm telling you that this is not the bottom yet. Okay. We're in the bottom zone. Okay. But it's not the bottom yet. So I say that because you don't have to panic about FOMOing everything in all at once. It's just, as I said, once we get to the bottom zone, which is where we're at, then you start to dollar cost average based on your level of comfort. Okay? Based on your level of comfort. And I'll tell you, like I've said before, I've already dollar cost averaged in, in this zone a little bit. Have I bothered? Have I bought more since then? Yes, a little bit. Just a little bit though. Why? Because I'm not in a rush. Because for me, this is a pro versus con situation. And right now, I am more comfortable holding my fiat. I am more comfortable holding my stables, right? Because we're still in a macro bearish environment. And like I said, Bitcoin has not existed in this type of environment before. Okay? Look at the Google trends, right? 2017, massive peak of trend. Earlier, 2021, starting in January, ending in May peak of trend for this cycle 
and we've never really got back there. We see this interesting little peak here now. I'm not sure what that's about. But based on social sentiments, the market is dead. Go on Twitter. The feeds are dead. YouTube. Content creators aren't making as much much videos, are they? Right? Things are dead. So we're obviously that's a sign that we're in a bearish market, a bearish time period. But again, if we look at the charts, we've only been at this price range for how long? Not even a month. Barely any time at all. So we cannot confidently say that this is the bottom yet. Not yet. Not at all. So I think there's a good chance that we could still go down to, you know, a 10k range. But I think the most important thing that people need to be asking themselves is what is a realistic bottom for Bitcoin? We've already established in prior videos that this was a range that we were watching, right? Why the 200 moving average on the weekly? Okay, so we go to the weekly 200 moving average right here, 22K, 22,000. So that was a zone that we initially were talking about up in this area. When we were up here, we were talking about 22,000 as a potential target. Boom, we hit that. But what happened? We smashed through it. What was the next zone we were talking about? This zone here, which is between 20K and 17K. Why? This is the previous ATH. We said this is another zone to watch for a potential bottom. What happened? Boom, we crushed through this price range at 20K, 22K, and we hit that all that previous all-time high, which was actually at around 19K, and we went all the way down to 17,000, right? This is the bottom of this wick. 17,800 roughly. And depending on your exchange, it could have been lower than that, right? So, what's the next range? Probably around here. 10K, 11K. That's an area where people are watching next. Okay, so, and that doesn't necessarily mean that's the bottom either. You know, these are simply just levels that you want to watch to see if Bitcoin respects those levels. And those may be good zones that you want a dollar cost average in. Maybe I am. I don't know. Not here to provide financial advice, just here to provide you my thoughts on what this chart is looking like. So, guys, do I think this is, a, this is the bottom? No, I don't. And for one other reason... Like I said, we are in a macro bearish environment. Go on a website like this. Go on Bloomberg. Watch the news. Or you don't even have to. Go buy some groceries. Go buy some gas. Go and check out what the mortgage rates are. We're in a recession, guys. And like I said, Bitcoin has never existed in a time like this before. Bitcoin has only existed in an up-only environment. Okay? Not an environment like this. And that is the biggest fear. How long will this recession go on? Who knows? In a recession, though, in a bear market, that is when the opportunities arise. And so if you have capital that you don't need to survive, because that's the main thing. You need capital to survive in a bear market. If you don't have capital to survive, you can't survive. Now, I'm lucky enough that I do, and I have a recession-proof job, a recession-proof business. So that's just my luck. Go make your own luck. Go find your own fiat. Go work a second job if you have to. Find that cash. Save as much as you can that you need to survive on for the next few years. And then look for those opportunities in the market. It doesn't matter what they are. It could be in real estate. It could be in stocks. It could be in crypto. Because right now, the people that have the capital that they don't need to survive on are accumulating right now. The whales are accumulating. The institutions are accumulating. Do you think we would have ever seen a, a headline like this in previous cycles? Goldman Sachs leading investor group to buy Celsius assets. Is that If that is not a sign of the bullishness behind crypto long term, then I don't know what else is. We would have never seen things like this in the past. So guys... Just relax, take a deep breath, don't let this opportunity pass you by. Your number one job right now, though, is to survive. You have to survive. And how do you survive a bear market? You survive a bear market, number one. Okay, Your number one goal in a bear market is not to buy assets. Your number one goal in a bear market is to live. So that means you have enough set aside that you're not stressed out, 
that you can live off of, that you can pay all of your bills, you can pay for your home, your family, and then what you have left over with. Okay. You use that for whatever you'd like. Maybe it's Bitcoin, maybe it's Ethereum, maybe it's something else like real estate or something. It doesn't matter. The opportunities are there and those who seize them will reap the rewards. So that's it, guys. Take care. Have a good night. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. I'm going to come out with some more content as the days go on. And that's it, guys. Peace out. Take care.